So we're just about finished infiltrating this whole section with the activated PRP. Uh, you can see for the patient it's quite a you know, relatively painless procedure um, with not much more than about one hour downtime. After the procedure we instruct the patient to avoid strenuous activity at least for a few hours and they can't wash their hair until the following morning. But normal social activities can occur. So I'll just show you that area now. So you can see it's not too obvious that treatment's been done. A little bit of spotting. Um, but overall relatively clean and clear. It is important to note with PRP treatment that not all PRP treatments are the same. There are different types of machines and it's very important to understand the difference between machines. You need to use machines like the Smart Prep 2 machine which concentrates platelets at very high levels to ensure that you get good results from your PRP. And the other important aspect with PRP is to stimulate the area to be treated prior to PRP treatment with uh, microneedling and also you need to activate PRP prior to injection into the area. So certainly not all PRP treatments are the same. And what we'll do with our patient here is we will um, see her again in about four months time to do some further videoing and photographs to see how she's progressing. Thank you for your time.